the award that we envisioned and that now has been delivered for two years helps us recognize and reward the work of extraordinary artists from across Canada. Well, four years ago, Jane came up to me and she said, you know, I think we should do a prize in photography. And I went, that'd be great. That'd be really great. And she said, well, what, what do you think? What, what do you think would make a great prize? And so I thought about it and I thought, you know, um, there's a lot of money and prizes and opportunities for emerging artists. You know, there's quite a bit, and even in mid-career, there's quite a bit, Canada Council grants and the Grange Prize. And I said, let's do something different. Let's search for excellence. Let's find the best Canadian photography we can find. The names are Arno Maggs, who is here, who came today, Arno Maggs. And uh, further, uh, Alan Paidemont. I think one can say that he's, he's taking photography to a new level of, of, uh, of ways of seeing. The third person, Fred Herzog. There's something about Fred's work um, that uh, we were all taken with. It was unbelievable. And as a body of work and as a portrait of a city he loved, Vancouver, I, I think it's unmatched. Arno uh, has a very interesting history. He started off as a very accomplished and successful graphic uh, designer and um, a fashion photographer who took the bold step in 1974 to move from that field into becoming an artist, which as I'm sure you all realize is a far less lucrative <laughs> uh, field to be working in. And he brought those immense skills with him from uh, his training as a graphic designer uh, to being an artist. So he has, uh, he brings a clarity about the process, about presentation, uh, fastidiousness and rigor, about the craftsmanship of his work. But also, really importantly, uh, is his conceptual, the conceptual apparatus that he brought to making photographs and his understanding of what a portrait might be. I'm here to speak about Alain Paymont. Um, he's an artist who works with photography, often in sculptural form. Since the late 1980s, Paymont's photo-based work has been remarkable for its unique study of spatial perception. He has said himself that his way of working is a way of mapping chaos. These are ambitious investigations, to say the least, that have been matched by bold undertakings. Few artists have achieved such a successful integration of photography with the physicality of architectural form. There's a mistaken impression that Fred is a Vancouverite, but he's actually from Montreal. The, the work is such an incredible mix. It's, first of all, it seems artless. Uh, in the best possible sense of the term, there's irony, there's wit, there's tenderness, there's an incisive quality, there is a coolness. Uh, in a word, it's profound. And I wonder how much of that comes because he comes to us from a, the great uh, European tradition. We're, we're very excited about the, the shortlist nominees for, for the second annual Scotiabank Photography Award. Um, it is uh, Canada's largest uh, award in search for excellence in Canadian photography. Um, we all know how powerful a medium photography is and, and continues to become. Uh, photographs and the talented people that uh, take those photographs uh, have the ability to tell us stories differently. Give us perspective that words cannot. With the launch of the uh, Scotiabank Photography Awards last year, we are hoping that we help move forward, uh, increase, further increase the awareness and appreciation of photographic arts in Canada. Mm -hmm.